Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today. We need to simplify this. We have 2 to the 16th minus 16. Okay, how can we work with this? Well, the first thing, this problem is real hard because we have 2 to the 16th power, like not like a cube, not, not like a fourth power, which we which we know exactly the value of this, but we have 2 to the 16th power. How can we work with this? A lot of programmers know 2 to the 10th power equal to 1024 and a lot of mathematicians, like every mathematician should know it, but a lot of students like maybe know this 2 to the 10th power and a lot of students know and a lot of programmers know about 2 to the 20th power. So we, we know this, we know this value. But what about 2 to the 16th power? How can we work with this 2 to the 16th power? Well, I want to show you a really good trick. Let's write this 2 to the 16th power as 2 to the 8th power squared and minus 16 right as 4 squared. So why I write it in this way? Because uh, there are a lot of formulas in our mathematics and the best formula to, to simplify this is a square minus b square. And if you look closely we have difference of two squares which is equal to a plus b and times a minus b. So we can easily write it, split it into an identity. So let's do this. We have 2 to the 8th plus 4 and 2 to the 8th minus 4. Okay? Okay. But what about right now? What about this power? We have 2 to the 8th. Can we find exactly the value of this 2 to the 8th power? Of course, because we have 1024 equal to one, uh, 2 to the 10th power and 2 to the 8th power will be equal to 256. So as a result, we have two parentheses. 256 plus 4 times 256 and minus 4. Okay, I hope you understand this step. This is the same as 2 to the 8th power. Okay, how can we work with this? Of course, let's add it. We have 260 and times 252. 252. And we don't know, we don't need to use our telephone, our calculator, because I want to show you a really good trick. How can we, how can we multiply it without any telephone right here? So 260, let's write it as 250 plus 10. Okay, let's write it 250 plus 10. And second parenthesis as 250 plus 2. This is our 260, we multiply it by 252. So nothing changed, but I want to write it as I want to write it as parentheses. And right now, let's multiply parentheses by parentheses. What we have? We have 250 squared. Right here we have plus, we have plus 2 times 250, plus 10 times 250, and plus 20. Okay, let's find exact the values of these elements. We have 62500, 0, 62000, and 500 if we raise this, if we squared it, right here we have plus 500 plus 2500, so we have 3000 3, and plus 20. Final step, let's write it, and right here we have 62500, we need to add 3000 and we need to add 20. So if we add all of these elements, 0, 2, 5, 5, Six. 65,520. So 65,520,000. This is our, our answer. What do you think about this approach? Write a question in comment, write a suggestion in comment. It will be really interesting to read it. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes. I really appreciate it. And it helps me to make a new content every day. And thank you and see you in the next videos.